What's up, your game peace, Padawans? ones? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm your guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, maybe a big box of biscuits to devour, um, top, uh, toppings of your choice, um, get your heart's content, some cinnamon, whatever, and have yourself a beverage, um, hopefully not tea, um, but if it is, it's your choice, your prerogative. Um, my sanctum is your sanctum, and enjoy my reaction to episode 10 of the widely popular um, Apple Plus series, and Emmy Award winning uh, series for that matter, uh, Ted Lasso. And uh, this episode, episode 10, is titled, No Weddings and a Funeral. So, my first thought when I heard about this title, or read this title online, is that it's probably about um, Rupert, and... Uh, how um, he was recently engaged to uh, to uh, to the younger, much younger Rebecca, and possibly suffered a heart attack, and that's why uh, I saw a picture of online of um, Rebecca um, at the funeral. So um, it could be her attending Rupert's funeral. Um, but that, I could be wrong though. It could be someone else at a uh, funeral she's attending. Uh, possibly her father, who knows. Uh, we, 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 we've never really seen him on the show, but those two options are, um, are what I'm thinking. Um, it's either Rupert or her father, or it could be someone totally different. And that's not, that's just, uh, um, that's associated with uh, someone else. Uh, but, my first thought is it's either Rupert um, or uh, uh, Rebecca's father. Just by judging that, uh, uh, looking at that pic that was that popped up online um, concerning this episode. So before heading into the reaction part itself to see well, whose funeral it is, um, go ahead if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or my YG Anime channel for that matter. Um, for all things anime, and the link is right up there for you to check out afterwards, but after checking out my reaction video to episode 10. And like I said, if you enjoyed either content on your channel, make sure um, to hit that like button, subscribe, and, make that and hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And like always, all my full-length reaction videos are posted either on my Patreon or Rumble. And both links along my social media links are posted underneath this video in the description section. Now, with that said, let's get into episode 10, my reaction to episode 10, No Weddings and a Funeral. All right? Here we go. Starting off with uh, some uh, culinary bad. Nice. Just the following morning after their dinner as friends. <laughs> Going on for a while now. You know, we have the weekend, though. But I'm in. Where are we going? How about green? Uh oh. oh my God. That's off. Awesome. Sam, you remember my mother? <laughs> it's a pleasure to formally meet you, Deborah. I sincerely wish I wasn't in my box house right now. <laughs> box of briefs. What's my father done this time? He died. Hmm. That's the death. You know, growing up, I used to believe that if you did good things, you went to heaven. You did bad things, you went to hell. I'd like to imagine a heaven where animals are in charge and humans are the pets. Mm, Higgins' like lively, creative imagination. In front of a fire. That's Cindy Clawford's feet. You live, you die, you're done. Good night. <laughs> so we're all going to this funeral as a team. Ties. <laughs> shirts. And no trainers. Right? Uh oh. But what if they're like really nice Yeezys? Yeah, yeah. What color? Bright red. <laughs> Isaac's face. Okay. I'll wear some dress shoes. <laughs> Rick Astley, they're gonna give you up. Classic 80s song. Oh, this fucking song! Mother! Turn it off! You know, the old Rebecca used to love that song. Yeah, well, the whole world used to love that song. Then we heard it ad nauseum, and now we're over it. 
Well, I don't work that way. Morning, TV. Oh. Oh, Sassy making her entrance. <laughs> Nora, hurry up. Rod, Nora. <laughs> Oh, she's good. Okay. She's young. She can bounce back. She should have used, used the door. <laughs> Roy, if you die, do you want to be buried or cremated? Like if you were hit by a bus today, what do I do? Go after the bus driver and make him pay for what he did to me. Avenge me, Keely. Avenge, Avenge him, Keely. Me. I found this company, and they bury you in a biodegradable sack. So when your body decomposes, it fertilizes the seeds of a fruit tree. All the people yeah, going green on a funeral. <laughs> that is fucking mental. I wouldn't eat that. But you'll eat a kebab that you find a hair in. It's fine if you know who the hair is from. That's part of the deal. He's a lovely bloke. It's kind of like the five second rule on, on food on the floor. <laughs> Come on, Ted. Rock that. Rock it out. Get that stank face on. <laughs> His fingers. Panic attack. Oh, not good. Breathe, man, breathe. Darling, don't. Oh, great. My sincerest condolences. Oh. Higgins and the boys arrive and support the boss. <clears throat> Thank you. Another of them are wearing trainers. Not so much they care about you. Yeah, Danny not uh, feeling comfortable in uh, dress shoes. <laughs> the fathers are the trends of the bikes of... Well, Nate trying to be eloquent but fails miserably. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Beard being Coach Beard. Good morning, Ted. Oh, okay. that look on her face. It's bad. That panic Ted, the panic attack is Ted, bad. Just focus when you're four, seven, eight. Oh, she's on her way. You can. But I think Rebecca is secretly dating someone. What? Slash should badger her into telling us who. We'll never know unless we try. Yep, it's a mission time for them. <laughs> Roy eating an apple. <laughs> I got it from a tree outside. He's surprisingly delicious. Well, he just screwed up. up. Katie, it's a funeral. Hmm. How you feeling, Ted? I'm better. You know, not great, but better. Good. Because when someone's not great, that allows me to get in there and do my thing. Hey, do your thing, Doc. <laughs> you want some a drink? A cup of tea or something? No, thank you. I hate tea. Tastes like a wet paper bag. Ooh, they got a common dislike. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Who? Are you secretly shagging? All right, getting down to business. Sam, how the fuck did you know? Boss, ass. And Nora's not even mad. She, she even though she does have a crush on uh, Sam. <laughs> I didn't go to my dad's funeral. Oh, okay. Okay, why not? Because he quit. That's the reason why he, uh, he, uh, no, he quit dislikes time. quitting. I hated him for that. Been holding on to the anger and resentment. I am so sick of keeping secrets. Uh oh. Dad cheated on you. Meant to be staying the night with Sassy. I even remember the date. It was Friday the 13th, 1991. One. Oh. A shared date the between day. uh, Ted and yeah, uh, Rebecca. Went up to my room to nick a bottle of wine from your drinks cabinet. And as we opened the door, I heard bang. There it was. In all his glory, with his ass in the air, with Mrs. Reynolds screaming his name. It's also a therapy it's session so for uh, Rebecca as well. For the first time in her life, and I just screamed. Went to the fridge, grabbed one of Coors Lights, drank that. And I called my mom at work and let her know she needed to come home. And that is why I'm so fucking angry, okay? Both holding on to anger. It's why I've always hated Resentment. 
is cheating. No. All of it. You knew. Despite that, uh, she stayed with him. I know everything. Then I hate you too. Oh no. That's not good. What was he like? He was a good man. Real chatterbox. Hmm. You know? Like father, like Probably son. Have been. Tell me what you hate about him. I'd love to hear something you remember that made you feel good. When I was in fifth or sixth grade, there was this book called Johnny Tremaine. And our homework for like a month was to read this book. I think I have that book. <laughs> At the end of the month, I hadn't read a lick of it. Next morning, I wake up and he says, Hey, you ain't gonna ride your bike to school. I'm gonna drive you. I'm all right. And on the way to school, he talks me through the entire book. <laughs> like it's a, a bedtime story. He stayed up all night. The whole night. Reading the whole damn thing. Because he didn't want his little boy stressed out over some stupid, silly test. He was a good dad. And I don't think he knew that. And I wish I would have told him. I wish I would have told him more. Because he was always gone at work and just out with friends or something like that. Then he was gone. And I knew right then and there that I was never going to let anybody get by me without understanding they might be hurting inside, you know? Thank you, Ted. I don't know if this is illegal or something, but can I have a hug? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. How are you going to charge me for this? <laughs> so awesome. Coach Lasso to ask that. <laughs> What's more important, being loving or being right? Oh. I've got a whole lot of baggage, but when I love something, I love it forever. And I loved your father. Even though he treated you like that? Yeah. All these years, I thought he didn't feel anything for me. I'll take your anger over your indifference any day. <sighs> Come on, then. We had a good therapy session. Ted's finally arriving. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. So do I. Well, the lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley. Just want to tell you how I feel. Try Seemingly appropriate song when it, can, when it was like um, played over and over again in the house. Never, never gonna say goodbye. Ted backing her up. There for her like yeah, she was there for him. Sweet. <laughs> Even the organist is playing. <laughs> I'm afraid we have to go. It's nap time. For you or the baby? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Rebecca, I meant to say. Um, I'll convince Bex to give up her shares in Richmond. I mean, so, uh, we'd love you to have them. Like a few What's he up presents. to? I think that's very thoughtful of you, Ruth. Why is he talking to Nate? That's suspicious. I think I need to break it off with Sam. No, what? no. Oof, I no. Think. Is too big. <laughs> that's a tiny little vagina. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> I didn't just come back to Richmond to get away from me, Dad. Oh, no. I also came back because of you. <laughs> I, I know that this is a mad, shitty thing to do, but I love you. Oh, Kilo. crap. How's it going to affect our relationship with Roy? Mm. Sorry. Oh, and there's Roy. Did he hear what Jamie said? I was a break today. Oh. Making dumb fucking jokes is just... Death makes me uncomfortable. We only got this one life. I don't want to waste a second of it. I love you, Katie. Oh. I'm sorry. Apologizing for earlier. I wanted to do this all day. But I haven't had the chance. Oh, a hug. <laughs> Sam, you're 
so kind and loving and wise, but... Oh, no. I hate big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> That's just this one. Sir Mix-a-Lot. Can never go wrong with that. <laughs> You're wonderful. Why is that a bad thing? Because you could really hurt me. Does this scare you? Yes. Yeah, Sam's just a good guy all around. No, I only got to meet Mr. Weldon that one time, but um, for the fact that a fellow his age can still do every move from Donald O'Connor's big old dance scene from Singing the Rain, it just gave me a lot of hope for getting older. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd forgotten that. Thank you, Ted. A helpful memory that brings a smile to Rebecca's face. Shall we? You and Sam taking a break? How did you know that? I'm my mother, I know everything. Oh, look, you look like a little boy, no? You got me. <laughs> Home videos. Mm. I've reset over that. I'm glad you are. <laughs> fitting, fitting about this episode. Oh, getting emotionally um, involved and then just getting Rickroll at the end. <laughs> Episode 10, um, pretty emotional uh, episode, a roller coaster of emotions, ending with just being rickrolled, and it seems appropriate um, uh, in a funny way. But uh, yeah, um, for this episode, I can it just uh, just goes to show that um, Rebecca and uh, Ted are kindred spirits in a way. How that um, their uh, pain uh, when it comes to uh, their fathers are intertwined with each other the same date, Friday the 13th. Um, but under different circumstances, she caught him cheating and um, Ted found her, found his father uh, taking his own life. Um, and uh, it was gut-wrenching. Uh, he certainly felt the emotions, especially with Ted, um, and how he just conveyed his feelings uh, to Dr. Uh, Sharon Fieldstone. And and um, and she, she's considered a, a, a kindred spirit as well, and sharing that commonality of disliking tea. But but that's not uh, neither here nor there. But um, going back to his emotional uh, being emotionally um, vulnerable, opening up about his father, and um, and though he felt sad and uh, um, crying, shedding tears, Doctor Sharon was able to just. Um, Bring out a smile on his face when he asked uh, when she asked him what uh, was uh, the memory that he would um, that caused it, uh, would bring a smile to his face, and that and he, and he thought back into that moment where um, that book report of John Tremaine and um, how he took the time his father took the time not wasn't angry um, but uh, allowed his son to sleep uh, sleep on it and then. The next day, um, drove to school and uh, went over the uh, book with him. Um, that's that's the love of a father for his son, and that's that that really gets to you uh, to the point where it it, it makes you um, uh, think about your own relationship with your uh, own father and, and parents for that matter, um, and uh, yeah, and that uh, and. Uh, Speaking of uh, that therapy session um, w between um, uh, Dr. Sharon and Ted, it, it, it correlates with that uh, uh, quasi-therapy session between Rebecca and his mother and her mother, uh, sh uh, sharing information that um, that uh, that De Deborah um, uh, concerning knowing um, the, the, her husband cheating on her. Um, and, um, despite that, he stayed, she stayed with him, and it, it was a, 
it was a relationship that, um, uh, a toxic relationship, to say the least, but, uh, uh, and uh, near the end, um, Ted was able to use what Dr. Sharon, um, not really knowing, knowing it, but unbeknownst to him, what went on, um, between the both mother and daughter, um, uh, was able to, um, uh, bring, uh, uh, bring a happy memory to, um, to, uh, Rebecca to hold on to and make her smile. So that's, uh, a little bit of a, um, uh, intertwining, um, between the two of them shows their, like I said, kindred spirits. And, uh, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm this is, I believe this is one of my favorite episodes, um, among the, among, uh, both seasons, but, yeah, one of my favorite episodes. Uh, and then that, uh, um, and then think about it, the, that the complication now that, uh, um, Jamie has professed his, uh, love, um, still loves Keely, um, and, uh, and then, t uh, and then Roy coming in and apologizing t and, uh, professing his love for Keely. So, that's going to be a complicated situation indeed. If there is a complication of uh, what um, Keely is feeling um, uh, for either man, for either uh, yeah, for either for either guy, and hopefully um, uh, it doesn't turn into drama, which it could possibly very well be become drama between all three individuals um, to, to the point where it uh, it's a battle again between um, two men. This time for. Uh, Keely's heart, uh, and, um, yeah, and what, what was up with, uh, Rupert talking with, um, with, uh, uh, Nate, um, we know Nate has been going through something of his own when it comes to, um, uh, his position at, uh, AFC Richmond now that, um, Roy is, uh, a coach, so, he could very well end up um, coaching somewhere else. Who knows at this point? But there's something going on with him. So, in any case, hope you enjoyed my reaction. Looking forward to episode 11. Um, but before um, I end this video, um, if you enjoyed any of my content, um, especially this episode or the past episodes uh, I've reacted to, go ahead, make sure to, if you enjoyed my content, either my Intersectum channel or my YG Anime channel for, that, for all things anime, like right up there. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for either channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, nope, and uh, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And like always, all my full-length reaction videos are posted either on my Patreon or Rumble, and both links along my social media links are posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, tip my hat to you, may the force be with you. Like I said, look out for the, my next reaction video for episode 11, alright? Later.